so I got bit. <laughs> Them mosquitoes. Anyway, earlier today, but it's not. It's not bad. It's like one spot on my damn leg. <laughs> So, went out today, got some errands, put some gas in the car, Ooh, so. I said pho. It sounded like something else, but it wasn't a curse word. I swear it wasn't. I just thought about that because I really just heard it after it happened. Um. <clears throat> so, had a beautiful day today. I hope everybody else is the same too. I uh, yeah. amazing work. I did not yawn until I started messing with the cards. I think somebody's tired or bored. Tired or bored energy is probably being picked up right now. Um, that's what I get with yawns, you know? You're either tired or, you know? Well, actually, no. I gotta think about it a little bit deeper because when I go to the gym and I work out and everything, um, I do start, I've been releasing yawns, like a lot of yawns. And it's really odd because I'm like, why the hell am I yawning and I'm working out? Like, it makes no sense. Like, I'm not freaking tired. <laughs> My hair. I just freaking washed it and I really didn't condition it. I just oiled it after I went in the pool on Sunday I believe it was. So it's been a few days right? No, 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 no. Because I went to the gym yesterday too. That's when I went into the pool. Okay, yeah. I went to the pool Wednesday. I didn't go into the pool Thursday. I'll probably end up going into the pool Friday. Yeah, Friday I'll do a workout because I gotta do my legs and then, okay. See, start freaking talking about the yawning and connecting it with that shit. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so when I'm working out, what I notice is I'll work out and everything's all cool and everything. And I mean, even when I start yawning, it's all cool. It's just, it's like, what? <laughs> I, I, I don't know why that happens. I mean, I guess maybe whatever needs to get out of the body is, you know, releasing itself. Maybe somebody's releasing themselves from, from something, you know? Try to pick up whatever it is. It'll it'll possibly come through if it wants to. Okay. So like I said, it's the yawning energy's tired or maybe releasing something. Something is being triggered to be released out of something, someone. sneakiness somebody's releasing a sneaky ass energy energy or possibly somebody's releasing sneaky weights take it wherever it fits for you okay but there's sneaky sneaky energy on the table Sneaky energy. Six of Swords. 
that's really weird too because it's the seven of swords and the upright which is a sneaky energy obviously sneaky okay um bold sneaky okay like this person is sneaky like they think that they're so slick that they're actually doing shit right in front of your face thinking that is not being picked up on okay and then leaving shit behind for them to come and get later okay but it really it's just sneaky you know doing shit like close but not exactly at home you know so you don't get caught red handed um, and then you have the Six of Swords in the reverse. Now, this is like the traveling, okay? But it's in reverse, so somebody is doing something to stop movement, to put something back. They're trying to reverse a situation. Something that they possibly ran away from in the past. In the reverse, somebody's not wanting to, to move. Somebody's not wanting to move forward. Somebody's... Somebody sneaky energy got them stuck. They can't move forward. Okay. Clarify this. What's not being... Okay, somebody got stuck, okay, moving forward. They moved forward towards something very sneakily, okay, but they got stuck in a situation that um, put a, a burden on them, okay? This is having a lot to bear, and, you know, you have no choice but to bear it. This is what I'm getting right now. Somebody has no choice but to bear something that they did. Queen of Wands in the reverse. And a judgment card. Oh, okay. A Queen of Wands in reverse is trying to avoid judgment. Okay. But it seems like they stay in this type of an energy. Okay, this is nothing new for this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands stays um, trying to hold off judgment towards them. Because they know if this card is actually to turn up in the upright, that's their ass. That's judgment being called down from from the higher ups. Okay, they did something in the past. Um, being sneaky with some sort of movement. Okay, that they were going towards, that they were trying to 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 get, but they got stuck with a burden instead. Now they are holding off, now they're trying, now this Queen of Wands is in, you know, the reverse, and judgment is stuck over them. Okay, it is stuck over them. They're stuck in judgment, but they're trying to hold it off. That's why it's in this stuck position. This sideways position right now, it's not just something that is something that I'm seeing that they're used to. This is something that, uh... They did this to themselves. 
They don't have the strength for this. They need strength. That's why they don't want this judgment to be passed. They have no strength for this. This is something that could possibly cause somebody to have some sort of attack. Panic attack. Anxiety. Well, that's the type of the same freaking thing. I used to get them all the time. You know? This Queen of Wands in the reverse. It looks like um, they're lagging strength over this and they're trying to hold back judgment due to um, sexual nature. There's something with this Queen of Wands in reverse in their sexual nature. They're trying to um, they're trying to find strength with this situation right here because they already know judgment is here. They already know it. That's why they're trying to, to, to hold it off. They're trying to keep something secret with the Eight of Swords in the upright. Okay? They're trying to have somebody... Um, they're trying to have something covered up. They don't want something to be seen with the Eight of Swords in the upright. And his secret is this page of wands, their sexual nature. Something that's something that they don't have a uh, strength for. Something that they don't want somebody to know. No. We're shuffle. So there's a message that this Queen of Wands doesn't want to come out. Okay. When we get an insight on what this <laughs> new. No. Look. You're really finding me, but no. Little at a time, little at a time. Come on, we can do this. <laughs> I say little at a time and temperance come out. Patience is needed in order for justice to be served in this situation. Okay? Patience. Time. Will. Divine timing basically will be justice justice and fulfillment within a situation over here that's not the same energy though what energy Their manifestation is is backwards. The two of swords are backwards. Their manifestation did not go as planned. Okay? Their two of wands. Something didn't go right with their manifestation. They tried to manifest and it it, it backfired onto them. Uh, whatever they tried to manifest, it came out in reverse for them. Okay. King of Swords. They could have manifested a King of Swords and they got a King of Swords in reverse. Okay, somebody that's cruel. God, you're just flying out today. Cruel and with the full in reverse. They're foolish. Okay, they're not a fool. They're they're you know not the risk taking adventurous fool that's on the card. 
there. Oh, look. Mm. They're foolish and cruel. They do things. They they do things stupidly. She manifested this, or he manifested this. You know, it's a Queen of Wands energy in reverse. But it could be masculine. It could be a feminine energy. You know, energy is fluid. So come on. fulfillment something's coming in seven of cups in reverse something's coming in this is um gifts a gift Wish fulfillment, like this is the Ten of uh, Cups, you know, this is fulfillment, and this is the Seven of Cups, blessings and everything else, blessings is wish fulfillment, okay, that could be this King of Swords in reverse, you know, they could have manifested each other, this King of Swords in reverse could have been looking for, you know, this type of uh, energy, you know, and this Queen of, Queen of Wands, this queen of wands could have been looking for the king of swords in an upright like a uh, more respect respectable more you know um protecting type of energy person to to care for them but this queen of wands is in the reverse so whatever they was manifesting came out backwards for them so Whatever they was manifesting, they got in return in reverse. The opposite for themselves. Because of wherever they were coming from manifesting. I don't know exactly, but <laughs> that's what it looks like here. It looks like they just basically ended up um, being divinely guided into each other. Like, you have a wicked witch, right? So what happens with the wicked witch that is uh, being that is having judgment, you know, cast down on them, onto them for what they were doing? They get exactly what they deserve, and what they got was what they wanted, but the lower form of it. When they got the lower form of it. That may not have been what they expected. But that lower form that they manifested into their life. That queen of wands was that energies. Okay, that king of swords in reverse. That was their manifestation. That's what they wanted. That was their fulfillment. That is what they looked at as their gift. Their pride. This could have been something that, you know, took a while. You know, it took it took its time to, <laughs> to reveal itself. But justice came as soon as it was revealed in divine timing. About this fulfillment right here with the gift and everything else. They manifest each other. You see how that works. That's how energy plays around in this realm. 
people. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you gotta be careful with what you wish for, because you just might get it. Because see, people don't understand what people are saying or meaning when they say, can you handle this? Can you handle me? See, a lot of people think that, well, I can understand why, because a lot of people that say it are saying it out of ego, like, oh, you can't handle me, can you handle me? They're coming from like, oh, what can you do for me, or can you, you know, handle, you know? Get this, because the thing is, I say this sometimes, especially, you know, when, you know, I'm really knowing somebody, I'm like, are you sure you can handle this? You know, it's kind of cute. It's kind of mysterious. But see, I know what I mean when I say that. Because I know myself and I know who I am. And I know what I am. I'm not saying it to be cute. I'm saying it as a question. Are you sure you can handle my energy? Are you sure you can handle what I come with? <laughs> Some people they use that as um you know that type of sexual flirtatious nature i mean yeah it's cute as shit well you know when you're actually flirting with the one person that you're trying to you know be with and everything you, you, you sure you can handle this yeah really what can you do you know but you have to actually you know what is your intent with it is it just the lust is it just the sex? Or is it everything that is coming along with that, which is you and your entirety? That's the question. Not many people understand that. Girl, you got what you deserve. What goes around comes around. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. I curse. I don't understand why, but I do. It's okay. I come both kind of cute sometimes. I try to come down. I can't help myself. I I try to. Maybe somebody can teach me better. Right? <laughs> no. Okay. The world card. And then we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups in a reverse. Somebody's not willing to walk away from this world. The world card. Okay, world card. I'm seeing light of manifestations, desires. Fulfillment. All that's wanting. Somebody's not wanting to walk away from what they've created. But with the Seven of Wands in the reverse, it feels like they lost a hold of something. Tired of uh, fighting. Tired of fighting for 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 blessings for um major gift something major they feel like they're fighting for something major something that's 
hard to get. But they see it as a blessing because this is the Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Creative, good creativity. A blessing from above. This Queen of Wands in the reverse. She's uh, having a hard time fighting, fighting for something. She's not wanting to walk away from something that she created for something that she's seen as a major blessing that came into her life. Clarify this, please. Okay, somebody's fighting. Um, fighting to keep secrets at bay. Okay, somebody is trying to fight having secrets come out they're trying to trying to defend themselves against okay they're that's okay she's she's um this queen of wands the reason why she doesn't have the strength and she's fighting so hard is because she's trying to hide these secrets something was done in the dark to a king of cups Ooh. Clarify the King of Cups. Hard worker. Trying to keep a King of Cups stuck because they're a hard worker. Somebody's trying to keep somebody stuck because they're a hard worker or their work brings in a lot of pentacles because we had the eight of pentacles in the upright. But their secrets, and the secret is that king of swords in the reverse that they got in their life. We have the five of cups in reverse. Okay. Um, this is regret. Yeah, that's the first thing I've that came across my head as soon as this shit popped up. This is regret. Something's being some somebody's regretting something. Okay. Somebody could be in tears. Feels like they have a loss or had losses. We have the six of pentacles in the upright. They got their equal. This is equality. <laughs> they got their equal. Everybody in this situation, they're the same type of energy. Just going full circle along with each other, trying to hide from one another. Anything else for this situation? King of Pentacles and Reverse. 
we have the depth card that's out in reverse. Somebody is not transitioning. Secrets are coming out. Somebody didn't transition. Yeah. And this is somebody's fulfillment. Ten of Pentacles. What's fulfillment in this whole situation? Even though there was no transitioning, okay, there are secrets. So you have to look at it like this. Um, your pentacles is basically uh, your 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 cre your creations, your endovers, your your you're giving, you're receiving, you know? It's not, people think that when you have to, when you come up with fulfillment, it has to be solely money. No, it's not. Knowledge is more, okay? You can go much farther with knowledge than you can with money. Once you spend money, it's gone. Unless you spend it on something that's going to make you some more fucking money. But if you have the knowledge on how to do certain things, that speaks for itself. And you can keep on going through life with that. You know, because you'll know how to create more. Yeah. These secrets are coming out. Knight of Cups energy along with the fulfillment with the Ten of Pentacles in this uh, death card in the reverse. Those secrets are coming out. Because you got them trying to be stuck. Somebody's trying to keep them hidden. To trying to keep somebody busy, hard at work, or, you know, hiding something from this king because you know they're a hard worker or bring in the pentacles or have something that's of value right somebody fucking up a situation and then you know you have the death card you know no transmutation but in, in turn you know you didn't grow secrets come out secrets come out this is going to be fulfillment for a group of people okay and it could be about um somebody being in a king of pentacles energy and that's in the reverse being very narcissistic uh cutthroat kind of childish you know uh quick judging a taker a thief you know um a dangler you know um somebody that uses tactics okay but there's not a cops right here this is telling me these secrets they're 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 coming up you know he's hold this cup is being offered out this cup of secrets are being guided guided out for somebody whoever it is secrets are are on their way you know that horse looks like it's looking at the water about to stop for a drink real quick before you know they cross over to start you know passing out this shit but they're coming out anything else Somebody was stuck juggling situations, always looking for newer, shinier, anything else. And that was the two of pentacles, by the way, okay? Anything else, anything else, anything else that needs to be said, anything else, anything else. time anything else for the situation
tower moment is coming. They're stuck in this energy of a tower moment. So this tells me that they're stuck in fear. Okay? Like, this isn't saying that the tower, the tower moment is up, but they're stuck in fear about this tower moment. Fear is nothing but an illusion. Shit has to go wrong in order for shit to be cleaned up. Or things, excuse me, have to go and be destroyed before they can be built back up into a better, into a new. That's just how it is. But see, when you're dealing with people, sometimes you just know you're dealing with fuckery and you're not supposed to be dealing with fuckery. So, when you see that there's a person that's stuck in a fuckery situation or an energy, basically, what you do is, I know and I see you and, uh, yeah, you know, keep your six feet. <laughs> that's it, you know? Don't come no closer. Sun card. The sun will come out after the storm. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is going to be harvesting. Somebody is coming out in their innocence and their childish state after this storm, during this storm, or already here, you know, just waiting. <laughs> just, you know, naked on nature. Dancing with the sunflowers. Oh, I just planted a whole row of my sunflowers outside too. Sunflowers. You gotta love them. They're beautiful. I love how they watch the sun and how they sat with the sun. Set. Set. Anyway, anything else for this situation before I close out? One more card? Yes? No? swords in the reverse somebody didn't want a situation to be closed out somebody is in the five of well somebody didn't want a situation to be closed out be this five of pentacles in the reverse somebody's not trapped in their head this is why this situation is being closed out because somebody's not trapped in their head anymore four of cups in reverse somebody's very upset about the situation the star, the star and the sun, you know, they're one and the same. The star, you know, is a star. And what is the sun but a star? So this is like one and the same. So the star and the sun energy came out basically to show you that this is raw. This is like that. Mmm, that stuff. And just that mwah. Okay? And now, the, since the sun is here, the sun is out, you know, whether it's before, during, or after this tower moment. Uh, because the sun is here, the sun is shining, the sun sees that energy, okay? Not, it's not, it's not locked up in his head. It's a done deal. They're not locked up in their head anymore. Somebody is upset over this star not being trapped, being free. So... And that is going to be it for this situation right here. I'm going to cut this off and uh, reshuffle my deck. And then I'm pushing out another reading since I have... Ooh, it's just... It, it's a couple. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. So, I'm going to let this go now. And I will be back shortly. And talk to you guys shortly. Bye.